What's going on everybody? SLB coming at you with another video review. This time we'll be taking a look at Titan's Return, Titan Master, Loudmouth. And I haven't done a video in a while, so here we go. We're going to jump right into it. This is another one of the Titan Masters from the Titan's Return line of Transformers. Here is the packaging clamshell right here. There's a picture of Fort Max up there, all decapitated and headless. Here's a picture of Loudmouth in his head mode figure right there boom back to packaging one step to transform can fit your deluxe voyager leader class all that fun stuff warning all that good stuff in the packaging nothing much to these type master packaging so let's get them open and take a look at the figure shall we well here is loudmouth in out of the packaging and like all other ones he includes his instructions here not a lot to go on just you know pretty simple basic Transformations, what not. Here is Loudmouth out of the packaging, like I said, like 20 seconds ago. Um, really quickly, let's go over the figure, then the vehicle, and some final thoughts, shall we? So, goodbye. There you go. So, let's look at Loudmouth, the Titan Master here. Very nice Titan Master. I do like him. Uh, let's get in close here on the sculpting very nice i like the red goggles that they depicted here i do like that again different molding for everything from head to toe it's a different mold different chest different arms different thighs different legs looks really good really good i really do like that um not a lot you know pizzazz not a lot of wow with this one but still very nice um articulation wise Head is on a ball joint, can do a full 360, like so. Very tight ball joint, too. Uh, the arms are on a ball joint. Can go up about that high. Can go back there. Can go out, as you can saw earlier. Ugh, about that far. Again, very tight ball joint there. The QC issues on mine is the hips have a bend here, and there's a bend in the knee. And it's not very tight. It's loose, not super loose. He can stand on his own very well. It's not like he's flipping and flopping everywhere. But he is going to have that issue at some point. For comparison purposes, let's get him standing up again. Let's bring in Furos here. And let's bring in Hyperfire. Yeah, you got it right. Um, these are the headmasters for some deluxe figures to give you a comparison to, to, again, kudos to Hasbro for doing, yes, it's the same figure, essentially, it's a headmaster, but they made sure to do different molds for different, for each different figure, giving them each their own unique character, which I do like there. Now, if we were to put him into head mode. Just like that and look at his head mode and he looks pretty good i do like it i love this blue metallic paint they use right here I, that's got to be my favorite i do like the red the little silver uh thing paint job up here for the head crest which is really nice my one issue the one thing i don't like all that well is the mouth not a lot of uh, character in the mouth i would have liked it if they did a little bit more to uh because you can't really see it all that well from far away, but if you get really close in on it, you can see a mouth, but it just would have been nicer if they uh, done a little bit more, just maybe carved out a little bit more in there to actually give it a more featurist, featurist, feature, feature look to it, to see it's a mouth. Um, comparing it to, here's Furos again, just in his head mode to, Give you some comparison. That looks really cool. I do like it. I do like it. I like it very much. Um, give me one second here, and I'll show you something. Okay, be right back. Here you go. I just want to show you what Hardhead look or Loudmouth looked like on a robot body there, and I think that looks pretty good. And that tight ball joint again is very good, very nice. I do like that. I just want to show that off to you. Let's just show you what it looks like on a robot body. I know it doesn't look very well, you know, with the rest of him, but just to give you an idea of what it looks like. So let's go back down. 
let's bring the camera down and show you the rest of the vehicle stuff shall we all right now that we got that out of the way let's take a look at the vehicle here itself and i do really like this vehicle i think this vehicle is cool i like the look of it um it gives it a very futuristic a very uh hover car-esque look and i do really like this i like the the molded detail in here looks really good. Not a lot of molded detail, just to give it that nice flat look to make it look very streamlined and to give it that futuristic look, which I really do like on the back here. Some molded detail picking out there, but again, on this side, not a lot of molded detail, just some a few molded details here. Again, to live it, give it that flat, smooth look. Top here, got the Autobot symbol right there. And there's the compartment for loud mouth here so we just take the arms up hold them at the hips there's some peg holes right there you can see them some peg holes in the feet line it up boop, boop. lean them back a little bit and there he is cruising along on the coast in his convertible and his hover car which is really cool i really do like that um I really do like the way this looks. It looks really good the way it is. Um, here is Brawn for comparison. Let's give you an idea what that looks like. Let's bring the camera back a little bit there. There we go. Yeah, and for more comparisons, here he is with Deluxe Class Wheelie. Just for size comparisons. And here he is, nope, Legends Class Wheelie, Deluxe Class Blur. I keep getting that up so yeah there you go legends deluxe yay we're learning <laughs> keep getting this mixed up <sighs> so yeah let's get into the other vehicle mode shall we it's very simple just take him out here fold him up like so Take the vehicle here, flip it upside down. Take these side panels here, which I already did, fold them down, fold them down on each side. Take this part, flip it up. There you go. And that's what it looks like without the headmaster here. Let's get the headmaster in there. Be careful, very tight fit. Just there's a port right here that the head goes in. Flip down, and there you go. There it is. And it doesn't look too bad. Um, I don't like the emptiness in the space back here. I don't like the way that looks. That doesn't really appeal all that much to me. Um, I was messing around with it earlier and noticed that you could do something with it, which I think looks amazing. You just take the headmaster out and you bend him at the knees here, flip his arms up. And you can see the peg holes right there. Just take them. And if you line them up just right and get the feet in the peg holes, that looks cool. I like the way that looks a lot better than the other way. Um, either, you know, this is probably, it's not a official mode, but this has got to be my favorite. Um, even more than the futuristic car. This looks really cool. Especially, you know, it reminds me of Mask, essentially. So, let's just get him back into the official mode here. There we go. And we'll just compare it to Brawn here. Eh, yeah, he's a little bit bigger. Just because the headmaster there. But, yeah. And again, for comparisons, here he is next to the Le Legends class. I don't see it again. Wheelie. Get Wheelie in the back there. So, yeah. And here he is next to Legends. what it is not that great but uh, like all the other type masters you can get him into a weapon mode and it's very simple very easy 
just take the handle right here, flip it all the way down, lift these up. Oops, I forgot to do something. Forgot to show you the molded detail. My bad. Getting close on the molded detail. I do like the molded detail here. I do like it. I like the missiles picked it out here. I do like what looks like exhaust right here. I think that looks really good. And on the back here, you just got the vents from the front of the vehicle. And on the side here, you have the exact same molded detail, the missile pods right here, and what look to be exhaust pipes right here. Nothing really exciting on the front here. So now that I've, you know, done my job incorrectly, let's go into the weapon mode. Just take the handle, flip it down, flip these parts up, and there you go. There's the weapon mode. There you go. Let's move the camera. Oh no, it doesn't have a head! Where does that go? He's the headless transformer! Sorry. Ugh, there we go. Again, <laughs> a very heavy weapon that. Uh, uh, uh. Not a great weapon. Don't like the way that looks as a weapon. Not at all. I mean, you could, that just, no. Not a good weapon. Not a good weapon. So, go down. Some final thoughts on this figure. Um, not a bad figure. Not the worst of the bunch. Not the best one. Um, but he's okay. He's pretty good. Um, I do really love the way that looks if you get him into this mode. Get him like that. I think that looks really cool. I do also like the futuristic card mode. I think I'm going to keep it in that mode for the majority of the time. Just because it looks pretty rad. So, yep. That is it for my review of Titan Master Loudmouth. If you like this review, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. All that fun stuff will be in the description down below. Hit me up on Patreon. Support me via the Patreon. Link to that will be in the description down below. This is SLB saying, my childhood hates me.